Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Sosley. Katia will join us from home in just a moment. At the top, some folks out on the island near Bob Hall Pier woke up to a loud bang this morning, and the source of that noise was a natural gas platform about two miles offshore, which is still leaking this evening. Now, Chelsea Torres joins us live from Padre Valley Park this evening with more on what happened out there. Chelsea. Yeah, you know, currently four different agencies are monitoring that leak from the offshore standing pipe platform. That platform is owned by Magellan ENP Holdings, and they tell us that as of right now, they're not sure where that leak is coming from, whether it's the well or the pipeline itself. Four o'clock this morning, I heard something that sounded like an airplane flying over. Sounded like a jet engine taking off, you know, the next block over. Along with that loud noise heard this morning, people told us they could see and smell the plume of white smoke coming from the structure. My wife was walking on the seawall and it smelled like uh, fuel, so like gasoline, and so they couldn't even walk. They had to get in their car. Environmentalist expert Jace Tunnel says he lives only five miles from the standing pipe platform and still hears the roars from the leak. According to the General Land Office, the standing pipe platform produces natural gas and a byproduct known as condensate. The GLO says the condensate did not produce anything and no one was on the platform at the time. Experts at the Heart Research Institute tell us there could be a pose to danger. The gas part of it can ignite and that type of thing. So I'm, I'm right now, I'd be very concerned for those uh, folks in the GLO and the companies trying to go out and do something about it because it is a dangerous situation primarily for them. Fortunately, there is also no danger to any wildlife. With this event, um, you know, I, there's probably not going to be any impacts, I would think, from wildlife since it's natural gas. Ref Surf has kept anyone from getting a vessel to the site for an up-close investigation. A Coast Guard helicopter crew did fly over to take some pictures as part of the assessment. TCEQ and the National Weather Service has been monitoring winds and the effects of the air quality from the plume. The U.S. Coast Guard has established an 800 meter safety zone, which will remain in effect until further notice. Now, we will have more information as it comes in, of course, right here on Chris 6 News. Reporting live from Padre Bayou Park, Chelsea Torres, Chris 6 News. Lee. All right, thank you very much, Chelsea.